You know, tombstones and cemeteries can be an incredible source of information, and not just about who these people were and when they died, but it also says a lot about who they are by the symbols and messages that are carved on their tombstones. That's a Masonic box coat. Ah, Compass and Square right here. Compass, Square, Plum. That's another Masonic symbol. Scott seeing the same type of symbols Barry and his team found in the pirate graveyard in Madagascar. After looking at all these tombstones, Freemasons were heavily involved with Trinity Church. I'm seeing a lot of compass and square symbols, which is the most common symbol of Freemasonry. Now, the other thing that you'll commonly see, especially in America, is a G inside the compass and square. Now, most of these don't have that because they predate when this symbol first came into use in America about 200 years ago. The first Freemason Grand Lodge in America was established in 1733, but Scott's finding symbols that predate that. It suggests early European Freemasons may have operated secretly in New York during the same time period that Captain Kidd lived here. If so, were they working together? Is this how Kidd may have gotten his hands on a metallic bar covered in Masonic symbols?